Hey, hello, my friends. Hope everybody is well tonight. I am Paul Apollonia, and I'm going to show you probably about nine or ten things I sold on eBay recently. Uh, before I forget, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, don't forget, if you subscribe, to scroll on over, move on over to that bell icon and select all. Then you'll see all my videos that I'm posting. And please don't forget to like this uh, video here. Appreciate every single one of you guys and gals, 872 subscribers. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So back to me, uh, Paul Apollonia. been selling eBay for probably 20 years. Took a series of about 15 years ago. Through a friend of mine, I want to get rid of a lot of stuff, kind of introduced me to consignment, which I fell in love with. It's not for everyone. I know a lot of people hate it. A lot of people love it. It's what makes this business so neat. There's so many avenues you can go down. Uh, my percentage is a 60-40 split. Uh, fees come out of my end. As you all know, just like listing consignment is a lot of work. Just like anything in this business is a lot of work. Consignment, thrifting, you're spending time and energy thrifting and so there's a lot of time involved in everything. Um, I also have a, uh, I also do a lot of parting out of appliances, like dishwashers and stuff. I have that course available at Teachable. All those links will be down below. And I'm also venturing out into other platforms if I ever get my uh, canookies in gear to really get that going. I've just been kind of busy with a lot of things going on. Everything's good, just crazy with other things. Uh, using lists perfectly. And that Link is down below with a discount for you guys for the first month. Really cool program. Allows you to go out to different platforms pretty easily. So let's get this show on the road. I'm going to show you, like I said, about 10 things. I'm going to try and remember where I got them from <laughs> and what I made off of them. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so let's get this show on the road. Let me show you what I sold. Uh, I'm not really into bolos, telling you guys, be on the lookout for. Um, let me shrink this. Again, you don't need to see my ugly mug that big. Ooh, scares me. Um, my, my stuff I'm selling is, is so obscure. I'm not worried about flooding the market or driving the price down on anything. Uh, I did a video on these a couple weeks ago, uh, bathroom tiles. My father-in-law was a bath and kitchen guy way back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and very early 80s. He's still kicking around, uh, and he was clearing out underneath of his house when I was up there, and he had all these boxes of tiles. And I said, what are you going to do with those? He said, I'm probably going to throw them away or something. I don't know. They're so dang heavy. I went, let me take some with me, and I'll get some on my next trip up here. So I brought a couple... Um, milk crates of tiles home and these do sell really well but they're what they call a long tail sale which means you're going to have them in your ebay store or your ebay listing if you don't have a store for a long time i probably have these out there for two years but they do sell i probably i probably sold probably well over 75 to probably almost 100 of these tiles in groups in single tiles um, I do really, really well with these. I have no idea where I would get these when I run out. Maybe um, Habitat for Humanity might have them. I don't know, to be honest with you. So, um, like I said, I, I get a lot of my stuff for free, too, because I've done two videos on this. Please tell everybody what you're doing. I don't care if you're selling clothes, new products, Amazon, eBay, Macari, Poshmark, whatever. Tell everybody what you're doing. You'll be amazed at what people give you. Most of this stuff I think I'm going to show you today, I got for free. Um, so these are pretty good. Again, real quick listing. I do a keyword friendly title. All pictures are done on my Samsung smartphone uh, S22, I think it is, or something. Uh, <laughs> uh, I normally don't do free shipping, but every one, uh, most of this stuff, when I looked at solds, we're going out of free shipping, and I was making money anyway on this because it cost me nothing, <coughs> excuse me, just to haul it down here. Uh, I normally do charge for shipping. I'm not a big fan of free shipping, although when you do free shipping, I'm sorry, I'm moving this mouse all over the place. 
when you do free shipping, you get uh, better search results on eBay and you get bumped up in the uh, rankings on eBay. Remember, if you're doing free shipping, add the shipping cost into your total for your item. Like I said, I normally do sell these in lots, more than more than one set, usually two or three. But, um, you know, I also have them out there as single tiles, too. I always use the, uh, since it's an open, which it's really not an open box. It was just kind of sitting under his house. Um, I did that so I could be uh, use the uh, condition description, which is this right here, which you'll see. And I always make sure that I have some kind of disclaimer or some kind of note to tell the buyer what they're getting. New old stock and sitting on a shelf hmm, under house. <laughs> right here, it's easier to read. Uh, for a while, but well, you're buying four tiles. All right, uh, spell out four and the number four. That's just the way I roll. A uh, very quick story. Years ago, I was teaching uh, a student of mine how to sell on eBay, and he brought his whole collection. He sold coins, and he couldn't figure out why he wasn't selling certain coins when he should be selling. And we added the, um, we spelled out the number of the coins he was doing and he tend to sell a whole lot. So I think that has to do with it too. Um, this is item specifics. People hate these dang things, but they're awesome. You need to use these. I know they're pain in the neck. Um, take your time and set them up. Uh, don't use any specifics that don't do anything with your product. Like if they were sleeve length or collar length or whatever, I would leave that blank. I wouldn't put no NO or, or, or or NA or whatever, leave it blank. These come into play when you're doing your searches on the right-hand side. When you're in eBay looking for solds and stuff, that's where these come in at. And Google Shopping loves these, and eBay uploads all their listings every day to Google Shopping. So, and don't forget to use a white background on at least your first photo. I know you'll see a lot of listings out there without white backgrounds, whatever. Uh, that's best practices. I'm just doing what eBay has for best practices. And Google Shopping likes a white background. Uh, there's my uh, description, basically short and sweet. Same thing that I had up here, just copy and paste, copy and paste the title. And that, uh, what else? Shipping should be shipping real quick. That's Global Shipping Program. That's an eBay program where if you want to do international shipping, you ship it to Kentucky, one of eBay sites, and eBay takes it from there. Once they get it, you'll get a message that they got it, and you're free and clear. If something happens, broken, whatever, lost, you get refunded. The buyer gets refunded. Just make sure you're packing it properly. They do open up your box to make sure the item's there. I've had no problems with it. I know a lot of people that have issues with it. I've never had an issue with it. They say the, the buyers charge too much taxes. You can sell more doing international, whatever. I kind of don't tell people how to run their business. Um, I use it. It works for me. It's simple. Economy shipping allows me to use every option in eBay, post office, FedEx, and UPS. Uh, does it, it, it will say uh, a longer time for uh, getting to you, probably nine to 10 days. Most of the time, 90% of the time, I'm shipping my stuff out priority or FedEx ground or UPS ground. So they're getting it in much faster than the allotted time, and my feedback shows that. So that is one. I've made uh, minus fees probably and shipping uh, without even doing uh, too much here. Uh, how did I ship these? I think these went in a padded flat rate envelope. I used some foam from a furniture store that I get wrapping each individual one about four times and throwing it into a padded flat rate envelope, which goes for about $8 and change. I think I forget what they're going for the padded flat rate. Uh, so that was that. Or did this go first class? No, I don't think this went, this was not way, this is not under one pound. Don't forget when you're shipping first class using eBay, not going to the post office, first class goes up to one pound. You take that same item to the post office. It's only going to go up to 13 ounces. Uh, I probably made about 20 bucks on this. I can't remember, to be honest with you. My mind is going wonko. Okay, next, uh, this is another item I got for free, an item I part out, a real, a, uh, I have a lot of contacts with realtors, clearing out houses, people wanting to get rid of stuff. This was, an, I got an oven and a dryer from this woman. She was moving or getting rid of stuff, and the realtor knew she was getting rid of stuff, so she called me and said, she's got some stuff. Didn't make a whole lot of money on this. Uh, here's an example of my shipping that I kind of guess at. I was not thinking when I created this shipping amount. 
It was way heavier, and I think I put it in a padded flat rate envelope for $8. So did I make a lot of money on this? No. Should I do calculated shipping? Probably. <laughs> do I refund people when I am under my shipping amount? No. Very rarely do I do that. All depends. Um, if somebody's going to be a real stickler, then I do a little bit. But it's my time, my energy, my materials, whether I'm getting them for free or whatever. Um, no. So I didn't make that much on this because I messed up. Um, and I actually, it wasn't one. It, it was meant to be two. I kind of messed up on this. It was two hinges. It was fine. I got it for free. I probably made about $9 on this. So not that much. Um like I said, I showed you some, I'm going to show you some high dollar stuff, low dollar stuff. Uh, I sell uh, anything and everything I get my hands on, as long as it's a quick uh, list, uh, you know, quick pack and quick ship. Um, I will sell something just to make a couple bucks, sometimes even lower than that. All depends if it's a quick sale. If I'm getting it for free, I will most likely list it for whatever. I know people say that's ridiculous. I don't sell anything for less than $20 profit. Do what you want to do. I'm not telling you what to do. That's fine. I understand. It is time. I'm taking my time away for a couple bucks. But I can get it listed in probably five to ten minutes, a few minutes to pack it, and it's gone. So whatever. Uh, this is a lawnmower part. This is to a electric starter, obviously, to a push mower. Uh, someone gave me a push mower. I used to do small engine repair way back in the day, and I still have a lot of contacts with that. People call me up all the time. Hey, I see a mower on the side of the road. Uh, go get it. Or, hey, I grabbed a mower. People are incredible. That's what I'm telling you. Tell everybody what you're doing. Oh, I found a mower on the side of the road. It's at my house. I brought it home. I threw it in my car. What? <laughs> so um, I think that's what happened here with this. Uh, I have a please read here. Obviously, it takes away from the search of the uh, title, but I want to make sure that people know what they're getting. And one of the uh, teeth are broken. Um, let me just click on this. Right there, that tooth is broken. I wanted to make sure that they saw that. There's even a close-up of it, a broken tooth. So people know that it's uh, it's broken. So that uh, I made good money on this. Um, I, it went in a padded flat rate envelope for $8 and whatever it was change. Made a little bit of money on that. It was fine. Did really well. Probably made about $22 on that, if not more. Uh, three bolts or two bolts, one here and one here, and it comes right off the mower. Uh, dishwasher racks. I'm huge into dishwashers. Uh, like I said, the course is out there. Um, I may throw it on sale soon. Let me know if you want it. I'll give you a good deal on it. Um, the course shows you what to take out of the dishwasher for profit. Don't get carried away with taking parts out. Remember, time is money and all that, et cetera, stuff. But uh, the dishwasher racks do go for decent money. Certain brands do real well. Certain brands do not. Whirlpool, uh, KitchenAid. Um, you just need to look at it. You just get a feel for the market. It, it just it, it it takes a while to feel all this stuff out. People ask me all the time, so how do you know all this stuff? It's just, you just learn it over time. Uh, pick a niche. Uh, riches earned in niches, they say. Mine is and always have several niches. Appliance parts, old radios, stuff like that is my thing. $64.99 for this. Cost me nothing off of Craigslist. Got a dishwasher for free. Don't know what the total is I made off of this dishwasher. I think I sold both racks, one one of the racks. Uh, I just look at sold and price it like that, and I rarely ever do free shipping on racks. And $19.99 is usually a sweet spot for shipping. It usually goes for around $16.99 to $18.99. How do I ship these? There's a video out there I did on my YouTube channel for free. Basically, I get a medium-sized box from a Home Depot or Lowe's. And I flip it inside, or, or I cut it, open it up, flip it inside out, and wrap it up like a Christmas gift. That video is out there, and that's all I do. I used to use the heavy duty boxes, but those suckers are getting pretty pricey. They're like over three dollars now, I think. So I just use a regular box, and I've only had one a wheel break on one of them. And that was just recently, and I was struggling to try and find another wheel here. I couldn't find it. I'm like, uh oh. And then the guy messaged me back saying. Don't worry about it. I took one off of the previous rack I was replacing, and I went, thank you so much. But uh, these do really well. The only problem with this is it's a big item, and it takes up 
space in your inventory. And I'm really trying to uh, take the uh, mindset of inventory is the enemy because I'm really trying to downsize my inventory. I'm doing it. I've been working really hard the past few months with doing that, uh, working on death piles or the new phrases, which I love is money piles because that's what they are. There's money. It's not a death pile. Um, so that did well. I forget where this went to, but I know shipping was either right around $19 or under. And so I did really well. Probably made about 50 some dollars on this. Um, so that, that was really good. What you see is what you get. Make sure that I, I always put this disclaimer in here. In any part I'm selling, please make sure the item fits your appliance. Obviously, an appliance, if it was a lawnmower, it would say mower or blower or whatever. When our sales item not fitting, Please only buy a part number matches. Well, most people don't read that. I've only had one or two not fit. And it says buyer pays for shipping. And once they see they got to pay for shipping, they usually don't return it. And I message them back and forth. I say, hey, look, if you want to relist it, just copy, you know, just do a self similar on my listing and just relist it. But then I never hear from them again. And now I do not refund them if they don't return it. Uh, bicycle seat. Bicycle seat. I sell everything and anything. Where did I get this? A consignment client that I had called me up one day and said, I got a, excuse me, I got a bunch of stuff. Do you want it? Of course I want it. Uh, I do a lot of that too. People will call me and say, hey, I've got all this stuff um, and I don't know what to do with it. And a lot of times I'll just get the stuff and uh, kind of go to the dump and sit in the parking lot, kind of go through it and throw whatever I can out in a dump and drop the rest off at a thrift store that I really don't want to sell. Kind of a goodwill thing. It keeps my name out there and stuff. Um, took about a week to sell this bicycle seat. I have no idea. I had to Google this bicycle seat. Um, I had no idea what it was. I, I used to bike ride way back in the day. Had a lot of fun doing it. Used to go 100 miles a day way back in the day when I was a lot younger. But I had to do a Google search on this bicycle seat and a... Uh, sold search. And that was about the price it was going. Person got it, never heard back from them. So I'm assuming they were happy. I probably made, I think this went in the padded flight rate, on, flat, yeah, padded flight rate envelope again. I think that fit in there for like eight bucks. Probably made about 20 bucks on that. Uh, okay. Appliance parts. These are weird. This is a heating element to a dishwasher and it is obsolete, which means they don't make it anymore. Actually, the story with this is this was sitting in my garage forever, probably about a year. And I thought, oh, I'm not going to sell this stupid thing. This is stupid. <laughs> and I was out there one day and I looked over at eBay and I went, whoa, people are getting $64.99 for this thing. Why so much? I looked it up. I looked up on some parts sites and I was, oh, it's not available anymore. That's why. So I put it up there. It took about two weeks. Somebody made me a best offer of 50 or 54 Five, I forget, something like that. Heck, I got it for free. The, uh, the guy offered me um, an offer, um, and I took it. I think I made like, it was sold it for like 50 or $55 plus shipping. Uh, so I did really, really well because there's no way the shipping even came close to $19.99. But uh, he was happy with it. It's an obsolete part. So don't let, don't, when you're doing these dishwashers or whatever, appliances, radios, whatever, parting out anything, lawnmowers, whatever. Don't let obsolete stuff scare you. Don't say, oh, nobody's going to buy that. Uh, yeah, because it's obsolete. Somebody has a dishwasher that the heating coil broke on and they can't find it. And here's Paul selling it. They're going to buy it from me if they find me, obviously. Uh, ham radio. I go to, I'm a ham radio operator, N3 GCA. Uh, not real active. I go to these things called Ham Fest, which is basically a big flea market, but for ham radio stuff. Bunch of old guys like me that, you know, smell like radios and sell old radios and all kinds of stuff. And my whole goal going to these things is buying things to flip them on eBay. Um, I don't wear any garb, no eBay hat, no eBay shirt, no nothing. Uh, some people know what I'm doing there. Uh, most of the people don't. Um, and I just go there with the sole purpose of flipping things on eBay. I think I bought this for a dollar. Uh, this was in my store for a while, I think, or... No, 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 it wasn't. It was only in there. Or I may have gotten this one off of Craigslist. I saw it on Craigslist and I got it on Craigslist. I forget where I got this now. Either Hamfest or Craigslist for nothing. Um, took a, you know, took a, a month or so to sell it. 
And uh, so I did pretty well with that. Got it for free. It went out media mail. So it went out for less than $4.99. Just put it in a, um, not a poly envelope, like the plastic tear, or I forget what they call it, the white eBay envelopes. Don't forget if you have an eBay store, not the uh, first store, the anything but the starter store, you get the, some uh, money for shipping supplies every quarter, which is nice. And that's what I used. I used one of the eBay bags. I uh, did really well with this. I probably made $27 uh, on this for this uh, oscilloscope manual. These do sell anything Tektronics. Now, I'm not saying, I'm sorry, not, not every model of Tektronics, but if it's a Tektronics oscilloscope manual, most of them will sell pretty good. Uh, print cartridge. Got this with a printer that I parted out, and I've sold most of the parts off the printer. A cheap printer, not an expensive printer. Uh, the problem with this cartridge is there was no date on it. If you have a box, if it's in a box, there'll be a date on it, and they will sell even if they're expired. Don't let the expired date of a print cartridge scare you. Uh, people still buy them expired, even these and those real big HP cartridges, copier cartridges. I've sold those for hundreds of dollars, even expired. This one had no date on it. So I was taking a real chance. Lots of people messaged me saying, what's the date? What's the date? I couldn't find a date anywhere. I might have been able to scan this scan this uh, UPC code and see what came up, but I forgot, to be honest with you. Finally, somebody bought it. Uh, went out for less than $4.35. Probably made about $20, $19, $20 on that. See all the weird things I sell? Another appliance part, a dryer control panel, the top part of the dryer. You push all the buttons. Uh, someone gave me this again, another realtor. Uh, no, this was a mortgage person. Also get friendly with those two if you're into parting out things and getting things for free. Uh, she was doing mortgage work for somebody that was trying to get rid of a, or was it her? I'm sorry. It was her that was getting rid of everything. She called me up one day. She goes, I got a dryer I'm getting rid of. I don't know what I'm going to do with the washer. My daughter doesn't want the dryer, and I really don't want to take it to the dump. You want to take it? I went, sure. And I made buku dollars off of this. I think I sold the control board for over 100 bucks, and I sold other sundry miscellaneous things. Probably made well over two, $300 on all the parts I sold. Um, this did not go out free shipping. I think it went out right at $17.99 or close to it, or maybe a little bit more. It was a long box that I had to use, but the buyer was happy. Never heard back from them, so I am thrilled about that. Uh, probably made about uh, $38 on this. Uh, my sweet spot on items is, uh, you know, $10 to $25 usually. Uh, I do sell the items for $100 and more sometimes, but they're the rare, far between, far few between. Uh, this was a uh, jack out of my daughter's old car. Kind of got hit in a parking lot, and they totaled it. So I went over and stripped as much stuff as I could off of it. This and the um, the mats I sold uh, this twice. Actually, I sold it once, and they said it was a they bought it by accident, and they paid for return shipping. Um, and I sold it again, and didn't hear back from them. So that's good. Uh, again, got it for free. <clears throat> I think it went out at $17. Um, I just packed it up in a box, basically. I'm trying to find the key there. Yep, that is about it, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Again, check out all the links below. If you ever need any help with eBay, training, teaching, um, stuff like that. And I don't know if I mentioned the uh, meetup that I run. It's been over 10 years now. Raleigh eBay Ecom Meetup Group. It is a Zoom meetup. I don't know if it'll ever be in person again. Um, I try every once in a while, and hardly nobody shows up, but maybe we'll do it again sometime in the future. We meet second Thursday of the month, 3 p.m. It's a $5 charge to join. Please come in. We get about 10 to 20 people uh, every month. Our long-term people, most of these people have been uh, coming on board for probably five, six years. Uh, really great people. Don't worry if you're not experienced or, or a veteran. Everyone is welcome. And even if you don't do eBay, come on in and chime in. We're a friendly group. All right, my friends, you have a good day. Bye-bye.